Hello, um, I'm Alex. Hi. So, if you are the first time you are checking this YouTube channel, um, this YouTube channel is for tuning stuff, reviews, and uh, and so on. Uh, mainly Voxo, though, but uh, Voxo, Oppo, Hold, and whatever you call it. Um, however, um, there might be some other things coming on. So, subscribe if you like it. Well, this is first video of a part I'm calling making a part diesel Vauxhall. So uh, what I have is 2008 Vauxhall Vectra, uh, original 1.9 CTDI engine Z19 DTH with 150 horsepower and 320 newton of torque. Um, in this series of videos I'm going to um, show you and tell you my process of making a vast Vauxhall. Uh, fast in my terms is fast, like really, really fast. Um, so I'm going to aim about 260 horsepower. To get 260 horsepower, you need to have a few different stages, and I'm going to get you through every single stage. So at the moment, I um, the car still has to be fixed. Um, new clutch, new timing belt, new water pump, uh, basically all the new new surface everything to make just the car perfect before you do anything. However, I already mapped my car because I remapped myself. Um, so I put a file in it that has been proven 220 brake horsepower straight from the run. Stage 1, I call it. From some companies they charge stage 2, we at AE remapping call it stage 1. It will, it will go with the default um, stuff inside the car um, but you will be getting about 220 horsepower, so that's great. You don't have to upgrade, you don't have to put a new intercooler in it, you don't have to put in anything in it, just make sure that the car serves regularly and everything is fine, um, and to have 220 horsepower. However, 220 horsepower isn't enough, not for me at least. So, the next thing you will have to do is to upgrade stuff. Um, some companies will tell you only to get a map sensor out of companies tell you to upgrade the map sensor, other companies can tell you that it's not possible and they have to get that. They even tell you to get uh, a new turbo for only 230 horsepower. So in this uh, in, in this series, those series of videos I'm going to create for you, um, I'm going to tell you every single upgrade I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and I will provide you some dyno runs uh, along the way. Um, just to tell you what you should do and how you can get a really fast Foxo factor. Uh, it works in the Astra as well, however, just keep in mind, the Astra has an M32 gearbox, which is like toothpaste. You don't want to put too much power on it, however, it could be done. Theoretically, yes, you can, can do it. So, um, I'm just going to get you through the process. It will be about 5-6 videos, depending on how long it will take. Um, but I'm getting you through the process, and by the end of the, end of the series of the videos, you will be able to um, build your own car, your own back car, or let someone else build, it doesn't matter. And you know exactly what to upgrade before you um, thinking of getting so much power in your car. Um, the other thing is you need good map, you need a very good map. If you have someone that doesn't know how to map, and it means that you're getting too much fuel, you get a black, black smoke, uh, white smoke, blue smoke, all kinds of cars. You don't want that. Your car of 260 horsepower with the right turbo and the right settings and, and the right equipment and, and all the right parts will give you um, all the power you want in the world. Uh, well, not all the power, but a lot of power. Um, without failing MOT, which is very important, of course. Um, and without making the, the fleet street black and smoke when you start getting some power to it. Um, because they shouldn't. They shouldn't give you black smoke if you have the right map. So, um, this is the first video and just, like I say, keep subscribing. And you will see the next video when um, I'm actually starting to do stuff. Um, but, to show you the current condition of my car, it doesn't start at the moment because my battery is totally flat. So. Um, but I will show you how it currently looks. So this is my vector. Just a default SRI. I didn't do anything on this car except building in my reverse camera. And I decided to go get some color in the engine bay. You can see here. Uh, 
did this all the way to there and decided to uh, I can do that as well but that's the only thing I did I didn't change or replace anything at this stage um, so that's the VX Harbor bumper that's on the car um, well, it had a little accident before I bought it, so this is all broken, but it's all going to be fixed in later videos. Um, the engine has about 101,000 101, miles on it, so it's not too bad. Um, but this is the car it's about. 